we are just leaving directly from the dock to try to hightail it out to the reef because this is the last day in the foreseeable week that we'll be, there's even a possibility of going out there. So we're going to try. Unfortunately, conditions started changing pretty quickly. Okay, so we made it out to the reef, and I am regretting that decision. Like having started like in the last half hour. Yeah, absolutely, and it picked up quickly. So we're refueling because the captain was smart and got us a couple jerry cans filled. Going out there, at least we knew that we didn't miss another perfect day out on the reef, but instead we decided to head in and look for a sandbar. We tucked in into this shoal. We're going to spend the day here, just chill out at Acre. We got the rudders down, the centerboard partially down to help us maintain our pointing into the wind and reduce the, the roll. I have sunscreen on my feet, but boy, they are burning. And we have the Navy flyby. They gave us a salute. Hot guys and friendly skies. Yeah, they were friendly though. They did a nice, nice flyby. Yeah, they seem to really fly close to us. I mean, I know they yeah. guard the coast, but they're 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 like what, 50 feet off the water? Yeah, and they always do a nice turn. They must like sailboats. I mean, we could they could high five our mast. Well, I think they're cool as hell, so I appreciate it. Hey, yeah. Say what you said earlier. I said hot guys in the in the blue skies. Yeah. <laughs> Shower ready for today. We've gone through a bunch of showers for a bunch of different reasons. Um, most of them break or get rolled off the boat. Uh, we kept this one in the cockpit and still managed to beat it up pretty good. But I'll, I'll have to give this one credit. It's, like 10 bucks but it is stood some pretty pretty good calls the other ones were like 30. But, uh, what did you buy a less expensive one because well yeah because they seem to be temporary i know you like to shower after getting into the water every time right it helps with my hair too my hair has gotten so bad after just like a few hours of snorkeling it's I have to put my brush down because my arm is tired of trying to brush all the knots out of my hair, even with conditioner. Woo. Please take a second and subscribe so you won't miss any of the fun and interesting places we're going to take you to next. Thanks so much. We love watching pelicans. We're gonna get out and walk this beautiful sandbar, but first, we need to make a roti. These small orange juices. Uh, the captain loves, one thing we keep on board all the time is canned pineapple because he loves it. It has a medicinal purpose, right? This is kind of out there, but shown to reduce the amount of eye floaters you have, and I used to have a lot of eye floaters, and the pineapple actually worked. Oh. Yeah. So there you go, it's healthy. So this drink is actually healthy. Liquor's good for you too if you don't drink too much, right? Anyway, so we're gonna try that. Liquor creates floaters, so, so I'm neutral on this drink. <laughs> I don't know, well, the, the good news about this Anchorage is we don't have to mix the drinks. <laughs> no kidding. They're shaken naturally. There's a shark right behind you on the grass line. I'm gonna summon the stingray. He's too far away, okay. Get your stern on. I'll sit down while you do the stern anchor. How about that? Well, if you're doing something. Right. <laughs> so we're gonna set the stern anchor by uh, leaving the, the bow anchor deployed, and then we're going to pull the boat around. 
So what would you call this maneuver? You're backing down on your anchor to set a stern? The thing about a stern anchor is if your primary fails, at least you got another shot at saving the boat. And that is not an earth shark. Can you get it? Stop so, you, so he doesn't go away. Can you get him in the water? Put it under. Put Here it you. under. Put it under. No, the muff. The muff. The muff is bad to get wet? No, you can't get the muff wet. We don't know exactly what kind of sharks these were. They were probably reef sharks or possibly even bulls, but they definitely weren't nurse. Here's another one. Oh, there's three. Oh, sh he's close. They're close. He's, he's too close. He's Oh my god, there's five here. Surrounding us. Look, they're behind us too. Oh my god, there's three right four. Four right there. Harry, that is it. Yep, that's a shark too. Here, this is where they are. They're, they're hanging out. Are there more? Co oh shit, he's coming right at me. I don't know if this was just a coincidence, but you can see when I had the camera in the water, they swam away from me. Then I turned, turned back to the shark. He was swimming right for me, and I put the camera back in the water, and then he turned and swam away. Later, we also realized that sharks that make quick turns and have their pectoral fins pointed down can become aggressive. So even though we were fine, it wasn't an ideal situation. You guys let us know if you see some sharks coming up behind us. <laughs> and one circled us. But we were surrounded by seven sharks. Seven sharks that we could see. This little bay here where all the pelicans are just dipping into. Natural little, little harbor. These rocks are infamous for sea urchins being in them. I can't go any closer because they're not in my shoes. It's really, it's really rocky. So we made it through the sharks and back to the boat, but I didn't stay on for very long because this happened. Give me the camera too. He's not used to a crazy pink snorkeler. Oh my goodness, seven sharks and this. I've never been in the water with a manatee before. That was wild. Yeah, we're just on a sandbar along the Atlantic coast. That's pretty cool. If you have a few minutes, check out our new playlist and tell us why you think these videos had restrictions placed on them. Thanks so much for watching. Say goodbye. Goodbye.